Hello everyone, welcome back to this Alma series. In today's episode we are going to be working in the grass field, like I think I said in the in one of the previous episodes, I don't know if the last one or the one before that. Uh, I want to get some silage bales on the way as soon as possible. If you seen the last episode you know that uh, we ended by upgrading the rear mowers, we now have the butterfly version which is nice, it will speed things up a little bit so yeah, let's get this cracking because uh, it's going to take a while, we need to cut the grass, then we need to row it then we need to silage wrap bales and then collect them uh, why I want to get silage bales so bad? well, I want to get cows as on the way as well, we have the sheep they are producing their wool, we are making clothes but uh, I want to get the ship and maybe when I will have money to be able to get the dairy and make some dairy products as well also I'm having in mind the fact that Farming Simulator 25 it's just around the corner so I have to let's say speed things up a little bit in the two series that I'm I'm on right now, this one and the English map Grenadatan, because uh, just before farming and farming simulator 25 will be released, uh, I will end these two series and focus all my attention on on that. But okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's uh, let's get this grass cut. This first job is now finished, I think it was much faster than before, uh, the purchase of these butterfly mowers on the back was a good one, it speeded up the process a bit, uh, but the jobs are not that done, now we need to get the rake and uh, start raking that, uh, that field, I mean we need to make rows to be able to silage wrap the uh, the grass so let's put these mowers back in this shed over here I, I didn't know where to put them but I'll put them just here they are dirty but 
I don't have a what's it called a power wash I'll get that at, at some point to clean the, the equipment I don't really like when when the equipment is dirty but for now it will have to it will have to do let's get the rake on the back of this tractor I think the bailing we're gonna do with the John Deere I don't remember what the power requirements of the baler are but uh, I think it's better to do it with, with that one it's bigger let's open up the, the rake and uh, start the, the raking process it shouldn't take that much time also uh, let's position better because I'm not getting all of the grass uh, this should do it Let's go. up a little bit I decided uh, to put a worker on the on the rake and I'll go grab the John Deere with the baler and start bailing. Uh, this will basically reduce the time it takes to bail the field to half let's say and we will be able to finish a little bit faster. So like, yeah let's do that let's get the John Deere over here this one it's also dirty look at it. Oh my god. I need to get the power wash. Uh, yeah, this thing could also do with the repair. And since we are in the workshop, let's see if we can access the trigger just behind this cultivator over here. And repair the John Deere. Oh my god, 10,000. Repair the tractor. Okay. It is what it is. We need to, we need to repair it. We don't have to leave it like this uh, we can also refuel it because this tractor I don't think we are going to change it at least not anytime soon so let's put some fuel into it and then we can take it to the field and start the bailing process come on get full oh, we have full gas tank now uh, also I I uh, think the sheep have food, it's okay. Yeah, we can start also the ketchup production to start making more more ketchup. Uh, wool, we still have. The clothes are going, I think we have another pallet of clothes on the uh, production floor. But I will check that probably in the in the next episode so yeah let's uh, let's start silage wrapping this grass and uh, then we have to collect the bales and I need to remember to, to also stop to unload uh, yeah and I was saying that then we can collect the bales and probably move to June afterwards uh, also these the field of our peas field is growing nicely I'm not gonna do the head now I'm just gonna focus on what the worker is doing so I won't confuse it and I'll do the head last So high, I'm hypnotized 
what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Okay everyone, this is the last bale of this field, looking at it, it looks like we have 100 bales, but I don't think so, let's actually check, we can see how many bales we got in the information tab, I think, we have 62 bales, if you look on the right side, 62 bales in this session, so we have 62 stylish bales, that we of course need to transport right now and store somewhere, um, I think next to the cow bar to be able to handle them easily to make the MR. But before we do that, let's go put this baler in back in the shed. I'll jump also into the case and bring back the rake and put it back in the shed, and then we can start collecting uh, the bales. 
Uh, now that I'm thinking, after bailing, probably when we move to June, we'll need to apply some fertilizer to the grass field. And I don't have a fertilizer sprayer, I don't think. I'll check. Uh, just in a second, let me just get this baler here without destroying the building. Uh, I don't think we have a fertilizer sprayer. No, we don't. We have a fertilizer spreader, but we use it for lime and I don't want to get the lime out of it. We need a fertilizer sprayer. Uh, this one is, I think, exactly like ours. So, yeah. Let's jump in the case and bring back the rake and store it. Store it, put it in the shed. Uh, and tomorrow we'll have to see uh, about getting a fertilizer sprayer. But before I do that, probably I'm going to sell some clothes and maybe some ketchup also to make some money. Because I don't think 24k are going to be enough to get a sprayer. Let's get this here. This is a little bit harder to reverse because the, because the back wheels are uh, mobile and they do steer as well. So it's a little bit more harder to reverse than other, uh, than other equipment. Okay, not harder than the dolly trailers. And those are the hardest bit of equipment to reverse in both real life and farming simulator. But yeah, I managed to put this here. Let's stop the engine off on this tractor, jump in the John Deere and go get the bale trailer and start transporting the bale. I'll do this in a, in a fast time lapse and I will see you back when we have all the bales collected and stored, let's say stored, put in on the floor somewhere near the cow enclosure. For the last of the bales, let's go put them in a, in a row next to to this one in front of the cow barn, uh, and put then put the trailer back into the shed. And then I'm thinking about moving to June. But first of all, I'll check on the productions just a little bit. Uh, I'm thinking about the ketchup production. That's the m my main concern because that fills up faster and if that fills up the production will stop and I don't want it to stop I need to produce a lot of ketchup to be able to make a lot of money to afford new things because I want to buy like I said I need a fertilizer sprayer and herbicide sprayer because at some point I will need herbicide also for probably after the drilling season this year uh, let's power off this tractor here and let's check on the productions. 
the ketchup production stopped we have 800 liters in storage so it's not a problem the close production is going i think we have one crate and the uh, uh, spinnery still has some wool let's go and see if we have some clothes uh, let's go to the shop i'll teleport here to the tailor shop i'll visit the tailor shop like like it's called we can go from here nah, no we don't have a pallet of clothes yet and let's go to the ketchup factory as well and see what's happening there ketchup production we have two pallets of ketchup eh, it's not bad okay uh, so now let's go back to the farm and I will move to June because today we finished our jobs. I'll wake up at 8 in June. So let's rest. We had a busy day. This sleeping is taking some time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check on the used machinery store. We have some nice tractors over here. I like also this Valtra, but yeah, we cannot afford them. Let's check on our sheep first. They have a lot of food and on our productions. Uh, we have 5,000 liters of ketchup in storage, so we'll have to go move them. Clothes, we have almost one pallet and fabric we are starting to run out of wool so let's jump to the tortelli handler i'm gonna leave this uh bail spike over here the pallet forks i think are at the spinnery yes let's get this pallet forks let's move the wool pallets put them in here because we have i think two full pallets and maybe half of another one something like that let's get those two pallets moved put them in the spinnery so the spinnery won't stop because i really need those clothes and then i think i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna check the price for ketchup because if the price is not that bad today may i may sell the the ketchup actually and that will probably allow me to afford a fertilizer sprayer i think for this episode i want that to be the last job to spray the the grass field because i think it needs fertilizer let me check i actually don't know for sure no the nitrogen is okay I don't need to spray it. The grass needs very low fertilizer as far as I remember. If you go here, uh, the pH is good. The nitrogen eh, is not that good. I think it's... Yeah, it's not perfect. It's just good. So we need to put some fertilizer in the grass. Okay, let's check the price for the ketchup is 2300 something on 1000 liters it's actually as bad as it can get so no i'm not going to sell it today even if i have to take out a loan i'll sell it in november when it will be 1000 more per thousand liters and also i think the price of clothes is also bad in june yeah so no, i'm not selling anything today uh, so let's leave this telehandler here i'm not going to go to move ketchup pallets right now and i can take this small case and go to the shop and get a sprayer I'll probably have to get a loan for that, but it's not a problem. I'll see you back at the shop. Okay, we are now in the back of the shop. 
let's get it on the tablet into the menu and see what we can afford in regards with fertilizer sprayers. Uh, yeah, I don't expect to be able to afford anything. We have only twenty-two thousand in the in the bank account, so yeah. Okay, we have these ones, but these are very small at fifteen meters. We have this at twenty-one meter meters. We have the Ver Vernland at twenty-six. We have this at twenty-four meters. But I was thinking something more along those lines, a navigator or something. That can go to 33 meters for the kind of fields that we have. I think this is more around my alley, but this is too expensive, 54,000. So this one is 21, this one can go to 28, and this one is 24. So I'm thinking of getting this. So let's get a loan, first of all, because we don't have enough money. Uh, 20,000 should, I think, should be okay. And I will go for this one, go for 28 meters. And I can put the wheat spot spring on as well, but it will be very expensive. If I go to 24 meters, still be expensive. Uh, 28, let's go 24, the difference is pretty big. I'll buy this. Uh, this has a 1,800 liter tank, so I'm gonna buy this as well, the extra tank for it. Okay, so let's grab them, get back to the farm, put some fertilizer in, and uh, improve the yield of our grass field. I'll see you back at the farm. Okay, we are now back and we also put some fertilizer in the sprayer. Let's unfold it and I'll do a lap around the headland and uh, then go start going up and down the field. I think that will be the best way about it. Let's see if we actually improve something if we put fertilizer, yes, it can, if you look at the minimap, the color is turning from bright red to, well, let's say, uh, orange. So that means the fertilizer is applying and it has, it's uh, having effect. So let's uh, do this in a time lapse and I think this will be the last job for this episode. Looking at our crops, they are not ready to harvest yet, so probably in the next episode uh, I will check if the silage bales finished fermenting, if they did we will probably get a loan and uh, get some more get some more cows, get some cows, because we don't have any money, but we can loan some more and get cows. Or, if the silage bales didn't finish fermenting, I'll probably move to July, I'll see you back in July, and we can start harvesting our, probably our fly field, I think our peas will be ready in August. But, we'll see, let's just finish fertilizing this grass field first. <laughs>
is the last strip of the grass field. Now it's fully fertilized. Let's uh, fold this and go and put it in a shed. And uh, I think this is it for this episode. I'll end it here. Probably it will be a shorter episode than usual. But uh, until we get to harvest time, we don't have a lot of jobs to do. Yeah, I want to get cows. We'll see if we can do that in the next episode. I also want to get another field. Uh, but for that we need money. Or a loan. Another loan. The fuck. Actually not another loan, we need to increase the loan if you want to get uh, another field but I don't think I'm going to do that because I'll probably increase the loan to be able to afford cows we'll have to see, I'm thinking also about doing a contract if the bales didn't finish fermenting before we move to July but uh, yeah for now let's end here this episode i hope you are still enjoying this series if you do please give a give me a like if you want to watch more of my videos subscribe to the channel and in the end i'll see you next time thanks for watching